We are taking one cup of cottage cheese to our blender. We're gonna make some high protein, healthy mac and cheese. So that is about one cup, perfect. Now I'm just going to add some garlic powder. You can add whatever seasonings you like or you don't have to add any at all. I'm also gonna add a tiny bit of turmeric. I just want it to give it a little bit of an orange kind of classic mac and cheese color. And it's also healthy. Um, it has those anti-inflammatory benefits. And then we're just gonna add a few cracks of black pepper. And lastly, I'm just going to add a splash of water just to help it blend. You could also use milk, um, you could use cream, but I'm just using some water. And I'm gonna take my blender here and just blend this until smooth. All right, this blended about 30-ish seconds or so, just until it's nice and smooth. The top off here and I'll show you what it's looking like. So it looks like a thick, cheese sauce in here. I love that this is gonna add protein to our mac and cheese. It's gonna be lower calorie, so a little bit macro, more macro friendly if that's something you are looking for. Um, and it's also gonna be equally as delicious. So if you love mac and cheese, but you want a healthier alternative, this is for you. All right, we are going to bring this over to the stove top and heat it up over a pan and I'll show you the next step from there. So we have our pan here with medium heat and I'm just gonna pour our cheese sauce right into the pan. Make sure we get all of it. I'm gonna grab a little spatula. Make sure I get every last bit of this cottage cheese. If you don't like the texture of cottage cheese, I highly recommend blending it to a smooth consistency like this. It kind of gets rid of that texture problem. I personally don't mind the texture, but I know some people don't like the texture of it. So blending it is super helpful for that. So while that, Cottage cheese mixture heats up a little. I wanted to share, I already cooked my pasta. So I cooked and then strained this. And I also reserved some of the pasta water. We won't use all of this, but I just saved that much. And this is a gluten-free rice pasta. You can use whatever pasta that you like. So to our cottage cheese mixture, I'm adding about one half cup of shredded cheddar cheese. Feel free to add whatever kind of shredded cheese you like. And I'm just going to mix this up. All right, so we are just stirring this until it completely melts. You can kind of see a little bit of the neon from the turmeric we added over there. So just give this a good mix until it is fully melted. So our cheese sauce is coming together nicely. Oh, I love mac and cheese, you guys. I just don't eat it that often because I feel like it doesn't have enough protein, but this is the perfect high protein alternative. Look at that cheese sauce. So we may not have to use some of the pasta water. Um, I just wanted to have it as an option. But next we are going to take our pasta and I'm just going to get this right into our pan with the cheese sauce. I used the elbow shape pasta just for a classic mac and cheese feel. You can use any shape of pasta that you'd like. You could also use something like chickpea or lentil pasta to make it even more high protein. But we are just going to mix this all together until it's nice and coated. Look at how cheesy it is. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of the pasta water in here and then just give it another good mix. So we added a little bit more pasta water and just a little extra sprinkle of cheddar cheese so it's starting to come together here and then we just want to thicken it up a little bit more so now I'm going to add in some Parmesan cheese if you don't have Parmesan you could add extra cheddar you can kind of just use whatever cheeses you like or have on hand so I'm just gonna add that right on top and then continue mixing there we go starting to thicken up perfectly and I love the flavor combination of both the cheddar and the Parmesan. So here's our healthier, high protein mac and cheese. So just continuing to give this a good mix until it is fully combined and melted. This is a super easy mac and cheese too. If you've ever made homemade mac and cheese, I feel like it can be a little bit difficult because you have to make that roux in the beginning. And this is a completely gluten-free version of mac and cheese. 
So you can continue to add a little bit more cheese to your desired thickness of the cheese sauce. This is about perfect for me, and then I'll add a little bit of more Parmesan on top when I serve it. But look at how good this looks. Super cheesy and creamy. You could add some broccoli in here. That would be super good and make it a well-rounded meal. Okay, I'm going to serve this up. So I'm just gonna take it and add it to my bowl. So now to my mac and cheese. I always like a little bit of freshly cracked black pepper. So I'm gonna add that right on top. And then I'm also gonna add some chives on top. I always think that's really good. So just some dried chives. I'm gonna grab a fork here. All right, let's try this out. That is absolutely delicious. 